Tryna get next to you, tryna get next to you, buddy, oh yeah Your love is too good for you, it's too good, too good for you, oh yeah I'm tryna get next to you What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to see next. Uh, with that being said, we can get right into the video. So the gameplay in the background uh, is this game of five. I'll put the link to the game in the description. It is not Roblox. But with that being without with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Like and subscribe, do all that. So as y'all know, Heroes Ultimatum Quirks I want to see. First guy we got is my boy Dobby. Dobby, you already know a uh, cremation quirk. I'm not really sure how cremation quirk will work uh, because we already have hell flame, so I can see why somebody would say, "Oh, that's kind of redundant." And you know, I I see where y'all coming from, but I still want to see hell flame. Just because my boy Dobby was cold and they did him dirty in Anime Mania, and like you know, there's really no other anime games out right now, so you know, what I'm saying? I, I kind of want to see my boy. You know, what I'm saying? I don't want to see him go crazy, but uh, you know, what I'm saying maybe his moves could be like. Man, I don't know, bro. Y'all figure that out. That, that is not that is not my job. <laughs> Y'all figure that out. Uh, Mo. Next, we got my girl Najiri Hado. Uh, like the most uh fantasized over character in my hero, probably. Maybe, maybe Ochako is up there, but she, bro, niggas love her. But anyway, so Najiri Hado, her quirk. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically the better version of Denki's quirk, like in every way. So, I mean, come on, let's get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, electrification is, in this game, is kind of like, you know, you can stun with it, you can do lightning cloak. So I feel like uh, if you were to do Nijiri, you could do like, I don't know, she hasn't got that much screen time in the anime yet, so I haven't seen, you know, too much of her, but maybe like, you know, of course she can fly. Uh, she can let out beams, that's something that electrification can't do, I don't think, so maybe she can let out beams. Uh, what else, what else? And she is also on the thumbnail, by the way, but, yeah, y'all can figure that out. Let me know what y'all think of her moves that should be in the comments or whatever her electricity moves that should be. But next guy we got is my boy Sun Eater. Uh, I forgot his name. I think it's Akijama. Some, some shit like that. But my boy Sun Eater. So how, how would this quirk work? I mean, I guess you could have like a shop with like more uh, wider selection of foods, I guess. And basically, you know, it lasts for like, I don't know, it could last however long. And basically he gets moves based on what he eats, just like in the show. Or you can just make it so that he already has it. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I just feel like you should have the big three in the game because they're all, like, really good. And they will, of course, all be good for Roblox game. And at least the way I see it. Because, you know, it's never been done before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think any Roblox game has ever had the whole big three in there. So, I feel like that would be a good idea. Uh, This is a this is a possible one. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be kind of cool. Aries quirk wouldn't be like... It would be kind of cool. I don't know how it would work. So, please do not ask me. I will work i obviously don't know like come on but seriously though like i think i, I personally think it would be cool uh now of course there are some things that you have to you know get by like she's not really a fighter she's like she can rewind time or reset things or whatever her quirk does so i don't know exactly how good it could be specifically for pvp like i don't know how balanced it would be but i i feel like your area come on it would be kind of cool you know what i'm saying so go ahead and add that uh one thing we haven't had in the game and this is another one I haven't seen in a micro game before. Gigantification. At least not in a good one. Gigantification, or I think that's what it's called for uh, uh, Mount Lady's Quirk. Uh, this wouldn't be a cold one. This could be like a common one, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, we already have so many. We already have like quirks in the game that like just boost your stats. And I guess this would give you size, so maybe it increases your hitbox. So that would be good for PvP. But, I mean, other than that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see it being too big of a game changer, so I feel like it'll be a cool quirk to have in the game. But, you know, maybe you can make it so that they can increase certain, like, they can make a big fist and that's an attack form. That might be kind of boring, but, I mean, I don't see a problem with it, you know what I'm saying? Boring isn't always bad, so. Uh, third to last, we got Blood Curdle, my boy Stain, you know what I'm saying? This is another quirk that I don't know how they would get it to work in-game, necessarily, because he does have to ingest someone's blood, but... I mean, I don't know. I think they could figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some of his moves could be, you know, he gets the swords. Maybe that could be his court gadget or whatever. And uh, he can, like, freeze people. Like, he could be, like, a stun type character. I feel like that would be good, especially for him. But uh, next guy we got, I don't know the name of this villain, but his quirk is Magnetism. I feel like Magnetism will go hard in this game. Like, 
kind of like how collapsing blue works in ABA. Maybe you could have something like that. Uh, you know, it could be good for like uh, taking out big groups because maybe they, maybe it like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe it uh, can bring like people together, like in groups and stuff. So that would be good for like, you know, combat. Whatever, especially if we're getting jumped and stuff like that, could do you know AOE damage as well as like pulling them into a certain point. So yeah, basically collapsing blue and APA essentially. <laughs> and then maybe you can magnetize yourself instead of like, because in the show you can't magnetize yourself with it, but maybe in you know in APA or not in APA, but in uh, this game you could. But last but not least, this is one that I don't think anyone was thinking of: crystallization. I mean, I know what y'all thinking. Ice manipulation is already in the game, but this is a completely different quirk. You feel? I feel like it would be pretty cool. I'm going to show it on the screen, but I feel like this quirk would be pretty cool for the simple fact that, come on, it, it's crystals. Like, you can't go wrong with crystals. Like, think of crystals in any game. Like, crystal jutsus or whatever you want to call it in any game. Like, it's, it's just always, it's always crazy, bro. It's always crazy, bro. I just feel like it would be really cool. And it would be unique because, you know, like I said, you know, you want to be different. Well, this is different right here. So, and of course, you guys added Hawks, which is like hella dirt. I haven't seen that either, but, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see next. This is your boy Dialo, and we out.